So I, I'd like to start by welcoming everybody to the Blakely Health Innovation Breakfast. I think some of you have been before and some of you are new to the breakfast. Um, this, today we're talking about stroke matters and in fact it has a special meaning for us today because the City of Toronto has declared September the 17th every year Rehabilitation Day in the city. So we're going to invite you after the event to come downstairs because we're going to do a little celebration. But we certainly want to thank our partners in the city for um, recognizing that rehabilitation is an important part of healthcare. This breakfast, the Blakely Health Innovation Breakfast Symposium, is held several times a year. I'm sure some of you have been here before. These sessions provide you and the supporters of Toronto Rehab with the opportunity to hear about the research that goes on at... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. It provides you with the opportunity to hear about the work that is being done here. And uh, it is exciting work, and it's very visual work, and it's work that you will understand uh, how it benefits society. We couldn't do this innovation series without our supporters, and I want to list them. It's the Liquilin Capital, Raymond James, McLeish Orlando Lawyers, Oatley Vigmond Lawyers, FAF, and Bayer Healthcare. I guess I, I, I know this uh, slide was up on the screen, but I am relatively new to the position of head of the foundation. Uh, it's an interim position for me. I also am the vice president of public affairs for University Health Network. So this has provided me with an opportunity to really get involved with all of the great work that happens here. Toronto Rehab has a leadership role in rehabilitation, not just in this country, but around the world. And as the population of Canada ages, it's a critical role in rehabilitation because I'm not quite there yet, but I expect that I will need some of the services that our researchers will provide in the future. I'd also like to thank our board of directors, many of whom are here today. Bob Blakely, who, for whom the series is named. He was the Toronto Rehab Foundation Chair Emeritus, or he is the Chair Emeritus and the inaugural sponsor of this event. Kathy Strosberg, who's here today. Linda Friendly, who I've known for many years and is an absolute supporter of this organization. I see Linda at most of the events that we hold, so thank you, Linda, for that. Daryl Shipp, and I've also just met Jamie Coatsworth, who is a former foundation board member, so welcome. As the title of today's event really uh, say, says, Stroke Matters, because every nine minutes in Canada there is a stroke and it's the leading cause of disability in Canada. Um, the scientists tell me that brain cells die at the rate of two million per minute after a stroke and it is critically important that people get immediate care and acute care and then after their stroke that they get the care they need to rehabilitate as much as they can. 60% of stroke survivors need some rehabilitation and it is our role to provide that rehabilitation for people. It's truly important when 400,000 Canadians are, are living with the effects of stroke to make this, this care available to them. By leading the efforts to, in the current approaches to stroke re rehabilitation, our clinicians, scientists and educators are dedicated to reducing the burden of what has become an increasingly prevalent medical condition across this country. 